Welcome back everybody. Now I'd like to talk to you about the image system and the image processing tools Robotino has. It's Sight. Uh, I've set up a simple little program here with the Omni Drive hooked up. And that way I can drive the robot around and show you different views. So I'll just put my control panel here. I'm going to slide these out of the way so they won't be so distracting. Now the main uh, output for your image processing system comes from the camera. So if you have a camera, you drag it out from the image system, you right click on it and you say properties and it will show you a view of what you see as long as your robot is connected and as long as it's running. When it's not running, the camera doesn't show you anything. So make sure it's running and connected. Right now I'm connected to the simulator and I can rotate left and right here a little bit using my Omni Drive. Okay, this is the output. Now you can see you've got uh, you've got the image shows up right here. Now the first thing we're going to look at is the line detector. The line detector is an awesome little tool that will automatically help you uh, detect a line. So if you take a image out and put it into the image input of your line detector, and then right click and say properties, you can see this area right here. This is called our, our region of interest. These are the uh, this is where it's looking for the line. Now if I rotate the robot around, hopefully we'll see a line come into view. Ah, there's a good one. So you can see the line shows up right here. And as the line shows up, this cross indicates the center of the line. You can see as the line moves, the little cross moves. The output up here of the line detector is the X dimension of this point. So zero is over here, about 300 over here, and the middle is around 150, in this case 162. The true output indicates that it has seen a line. So if I rotate the line out of view, this true should go to a false. Okay, line detector is a very powerful tool. If you keep the robot's uh, X position output uh, on about 150, your robot will be going straight down the line. Next thing we want to look at is something called the Color Range Finder. Very useful tool. Color Range Finder is a, used for helping your robot uh, see the, uh, the different kinds of colors. So if I right click on that and go Properties, there's the Color Range Finder window. Let's move it back to the uh, pink, pink cylinder. And just about there, and there it is. So to set up the rangefinder, all a person has to do is draw a box using the mouse around the colors they're interested in. And the range of colors that that uh, object held shows up right here on the side. You can see the uh, purple, dark purple to light purple are the range of colors I've selected in this object. Now you can take the output of the color rangefinder and you can put it into a segment tracker. Segment tracker into the image input. Now when you when you run this you can see that the object we were looking at that was purple now shows up as a white square and the center of mass is clearly defined with that red uh, cross in the middle. Now the, ob the output here you can see from the segment tracker is the X and the Y. So X would be the horizontal value of the X from 0 to 300 and Y is the altitude, the vertical. Just change that to data. You can see it's 58 and by 144. The third element is the area. So the area in pixels right here shows up in that output. Uh, the velocity in the X and Y, relative velocity of that, how fast that thing's traveling, would show up in these two. If you have more than one purple thing on the screen, maybe one over there and one over there, this will give you the number of objects found. There's only one here, so you only see one, but it could be two, three, four. And the output is simply sent to further image processing if you want to, uh, if you want to carry it further. So segment trackers are fantastic for locating colors and zooming in on them. If I was to get closer to this object, you can see that the area is actually increasing up here.
ROI is region of interest. Uh, if you don't want to look at the whole screen, if you just want to look at part of your uh, camera, and this would be done to reduce image uh, processing time because it's a smaller image, or to avoid objects you'd want to really look at, you're not interested in, you can use this. So uh, the region of interest, to set that up, all you'd have to do is draw a square around the object, the area you'd like to be looking in. And you notice the segment tracker is now just looking at that area that you've defined. I could, uh, I could make it a very small area here, or I could make it as large as the whole window. Alright, so if you want your robot to have selective vision and to only look at a certain area, perhaps maybe this horizontal row, you can use the ROI. Another useful tool, I'll take the region of interest out, another useful tool is this color space conversion. Now lighting is very, very important in the robot uh, vision system to get the colors bang on. But sometimes you can play, play around with the color space to see if you can get a better resolution. So if you connect it in series with the camera and then look at the properties of that, uh, right now RGB is the standard um, standard colors we'd expect. And I'll just, again, we'll just rotate the robot around a little bit. But we can also choose BGR, we can choose YBRC, we can choose HLS, and we can choose HSV. And they give you different contrast, different kinds of colors. One of those might be a better choice for you if you're looking for a certain object. For instance, this bright yellow object, the pink shows up as very bright yellow in this, uh, in this conversion. And that might be a good choice for you. Well, that's a quick breakdown of the uh, image processing tools you have. And you can imagine by employing these things with your robot, especially in conjunction with other sensors, uh, you can do some very interesting programs. So try out your lab questions and your challenges and good luck.